Good morning, you dirty old stash Danes. We are back at uh, at the same lake as last night in good old South Dakota. We got old Clint walking down the big giant hill. Me and Jordan are unloading down here and then we gotta go up and park the truck. Head out a decent way out onto the lake. I think it's about almost a mile and it's, uh, it's one of those days that I really, really wish I had a four wheeler or the ice was a little bit thicker. The ice actually is like 12 inches, so we maybe could drive a truck on it, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, we were talking about it last night that we have pretty big balls going on the early Nebraska ice that's like yay thin, but first person to drive a truck on a lake has the big old kahunas, but that is not us. Clint's excited. Clint, are you excited? Clint's always excited and yeah, we uh, we did pretty good yesterday. Fish so. are already biting. Fish are already, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> anyway, like Clint said, the fish are already biting. We're here early, but we were hoping for an earlier start, but let's go out and see if we can catch some dirty old South Dakota whale eyes. Maybe some other stuff, stuff things. What happened, Clint? <laughs> Where'd the energy go? Clint went, parked all the way at the top of the hill and left his damn light on in his car. Not that it would kill the battery, probably would. Depends how long we're here, I guess, but certainly wouldn't help the car. Yeah, I fish pros today, gonna be running two. One jaw jacker, we got some chubs, we got, well, just chubs. Can't use any of the fun stuff in this state. I don't think, anyway. What in the, Jordan? <laughs> Just doing Pilates, eh? Yeah. Getting nimble. <clears throat> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. <laughs> Could you guys hear me very well from down here? Clint! <laughs> I was like, Clint, no! <laughs> Jeez, Clint, we would have had 10 by now if it wasn't for that. <clears throat> All right, Timmy, we're home. It was cold enough last night. Probably gonna have to like re-drill all our holes, but uh, yeah, who knows, maybe not. Nope, sure don't. Kick them out. Stomp them out. All right, we're gonna get our poop in the group. See you with some fish and stuff. Tip-ups are out. Panty is set up. I'm gonna fish outside eventually here, but for now, just gonna stay snug and toasty in the shack and drink my coffee. Not seeing a whole lot of fish right out the gate, but basically just fishing. Oh, there's one right there. There's one on the bottom. Um, but basically just fishing a uh, deep channel tree line. And um, yeah, it seemed to work yesterday. This guy's all kind of off to the side now, but yeah. Trees and stuff. Trees and stuff. Oh, kind of looked like a smallmouth. I caught a few of them yesterday. Or they did, I didn't, but they are around. Which is pretty neat though. He peeled some line out. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Eh. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, he's still there. Whale eye? Whale eye. Big whale eye. If it's a walleye, it's bigger than the others that I caught on iFish Pro yesterday. It's kind of acting like a smallie or something. Oh, no. Something, though. On the board. On the board. Damn, Jordan! Prepared. Cool. Kinda. <laughs> it is a fish. Woke up for the morning bite, and I hate to break it to you folks. There was not a morning bite. But I guess it's still technically AM, so it is the morning, but. Yeah. This one was the uh, hot hole yesterday for tip up, so proving to be again there's just little gaps in the trees and it's like 
it's in a crevasse. All right, I guess I'll kind of show you now that we have daylight what we got going on here, but uh, I don't know what size of treble hook, but pretty meaty treble hook, 50 pound fluorocarbon leader that I didn't crimp. I just tied a knot, which is a lot harder than it should be. And yeah, a couple split shots. Let's drop her back down. All right, this is gonna be the most in-depth breakdown of an iFish Pro you'll ever get. You got this doohickey, this Billy Bob, flag first, clip in, ready to rip. Ready to rip and stuff. <laughs> all righty ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you really can't see me once again i forgot to turn on this light sorry for a brief break from the regularly scheduled fishing program when are you gonna go ice fishing soon, uh, hopefully soon. <laughs> you don't have a watch on <laughs> um but yeah we are back home and previously i talked about how we were gonna do an update on what we thought of our bear mattress <laughs> That's a bird, what does a bear do? Anyway, I'm gonna go over some brief talking points with Boo jumping on the uh, mattress because you guys seemed to enjoy that last time. I kinda did too, but yeah, we already did some jumping, but yeah, brief talking points. Be right back. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's just do a quick summary of some of the major perks of this mattress. First of all, they're delivered to your front door. They have a 120 night sleep trial. They offer a sleep quiz so you make sure that you get the correct mattress for you and your partner. With a 10 year warranty. Free shipping. Financing options. And is made in the good old US of A. We aren't gonna use a free trial. We are gonna keep our mattress. Because it's great. Because we like it. Huge shout out to uh, Brooklyn Mattress, Spare Mattress for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their website and use discount code PICPATROLTV I have the website linked up below. I forget exactly what it is, but I think it's bearmattress.com slash TV. But yeah, shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. It helps feed the family, helps pay the bills. Yes. And we got a new mattress out of it. So if you guys like what you see, head on over to their website and give it a whirl. Back to the fishing stuff things. Hope you out. Oh. That thing came flying in after it. I don't know, it ain't big, but it did eat it did eat a damn rip and wrap, which is kinda neat. Whale eye. Coming up backwards. <laughs> Alright, dick cheese. I never catch fish on rip and wraps. All I had to do was complain about being in the middle of these two jack wagons and then I get one. He's kinda stubby. Yeah, he is. Kinda weird looking. Let me take my picture for Instagram, Jordan. Um, went to South Dakota for big walleye. <laughs> big walleye in the old South Dakota. We're gonna get a big one today. I can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. What exactly is a loin, Jordan? Like, is a pork loin the same as, like, feel it in your loins? Clint, what's a loin? No, like, I feel it in my loins. Like, what? what is a loin? <laughs> We're stumped. Oh, Jordan, you got a big mark on you? Probably just confused him. I got one coming to me, too. Also didn't like something I did. Got him. Oh. Slammed it. I got a giant. Cool it's in the here. trees. It's in the trees. Uh, I think he. 
shit balls. Oh my god, that thing slammed it. Holy hell. I don't think so. I think I'm straight tree now. Is it? Oh, he's still on it. He's still on it. He's still on it. He's still on, but he's wrapped. We can see him on live scope sitting on the bottom with my lipless, but he's wrapped in a tree. Maybe he'll unwind himself. Dude, it's like stuck, stuck. Like, I can't even. Hammered it. Yeah, it's bigger. Yeah, I'm moving him. That was nuts, man. I don't see him anymore. He's still on it, though. It's definitely a bike. <clears throat> I just bonked his head into the branch. He's coming. I got him out. He ain't that big, but I did get him out. <laughs> How did that come out? That's insane. That's why you stick with it. He might be our biggest pike of the trip. He's not big, though. <clears throat> that was cool. Dude, that was, it was like so stuck. What up? Oh, okay. I was just going to say, I wish you guys could have seen that. But thanks to Jordan, the good life outdoorsman, we's going to have some panoptics footage, maybe. But. Alrighty, well, foggy. Yeah, I should probably leave it in here. How's it looking? Too close. The old perch rip and wrap got her done. That was cool. He ain't very big, but that thing smoked it. As you guys maybe saw, seen, did on pan optics. But we're gonna eat him. I haven't had pike forever, but I feel like pike's a pretty underrated fish. They're pretty good. We're gonna go chop his head off and we're marking a lot of fish. They're just not really committing, but this guy did and yeah, eventually maybe I'll get fancy and like record on pan optics or something like that or use a big camera every once in a while, but we just haven't been on anything super great, super consistent. It's kind of sporadic, so we'll do the sporadic thing, stay warm in here, and go from there. Hey, Jordan? Hey. Hey. And stuff. That was nutty. Nutty. <clears throat> Got him. That's a walleye on the lipless. That thing was just flying. A <laughs> 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 yeah, little, little wet, but that one's fifteen. Yeah. We'll eat him. Skizzers. Skizzers are the best way to bleed out a fish. I got a walleye on the rip and wrap, Clint. Smoked it too. Ripped it like hard and he just came over and nailed it. <clears throat> Probably 15 or so. 15 or 16. Sorry, bud. That was pretty neat, oh, Jordan. <laughs> Probably didn't get that one recorded on live scope, eh? Because it came out of nowhere. I barely got my even regular camera off. Well, when fish aren't wanting to bite, you can either go bigger or go smaller. I chose to go bigger and I didn't think it was going to work out, but so far it's working out. Hard rips and then when they move in, just twitching it. I'm not sure if all of them will like it, but that one sure did. That one sure did. And stuff. Yep.
seems decent. No, no, not decent. Come on, come on, slime ball. Ah, <laughs> poke him. He swallowed it. How many pike do we want to keep? Okay. Bigger the better, huh? Well, bud, you get a pass. It's your lucky day. It's your lucky day. Jordan, why'd you throw my pole into the heater? Yep. I was catching too much. Yeah, I don't blame you there. Was it like touching the orange thing? Yeah. It was touching it? Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. Some people are smart. Some people are dumb. Some people throw everything in their way when the tip of goes off. <laughs> I suppose I'm all the above at certain points. I just want my lipless back. Found something was working and then I burned it off on the fucking heater. <laughs> I mean, what, what an idiot. God. I'm gonna try to catch that thing though. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if like the line might have like hung on the tree or something. Yeah, there should be a bunch of line. <laughs> 18 feet of line down there <laughs> and, then, and then two treble hooks to hook onto. No. Is he gonna do it, Jordan? He's about the same size as my chicken wrap, so. Probably not. But He's trying to mate with it. The problem is, is I've dropped so many minnows on the bottom that they don't need to eat my bait. Oh. They eat more than a couple minnow heads, Jordan. I don't know. Weather happened. <clears throat> I don't even care if I catch a fish the rest of the day as long as I catch my rip and wrap. Probably that hanging right there. It might be. <laughs> oh, I got it. No way. I got it. Are you chip on me? I got it. I got it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I caught my lipless. <laughs> Clint doesn't seem as excited as I am. I I when I had my tip up go off, I dropped my pole into the heater and it burnt my line off and my only natural colored rip and wrap fell to the bottom and I just caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured with all the damn line down there. Yeah, the little braid floats too, so it probably was just like. Not only did I catch it, I caught it in like yeah, 97 three. spots. <laughs> oh, what the shit. She lives on. Oh, Off the bottom. Whale well, eye. Lip was crazy. Every time. <laughs> cool. Skinny. He is skinny. He just started swimming off to the... I didn't even know he picked it up off the bottom. I was like, my line's kind of <laughs> crooked. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well. Whale eye. We wanted to catch whale eyes the other day, Jordan. We couldn't. We had to come all the way to South Dakota. We couldn't just be five minutes away. Not a single one. I'm not sure, but it sure is working. It's a little meteor. Maybe not. Walter? I hope so. No, bigger pike though. Decent pike. Enough meat, Clint? Yep. He's bleeding himself out anyway. 
I'm gonna have to try to get my chub back from that one too because we're running low. Well, we kind of quit quit marking fish in the shack, so I think it's getting close to time that we need to start searching. Oh shit, is that yours? You want him, Clint? You sure? You want your first eye fish pro on your own? I dropped it again. I go back to fishing. This is getting nutty, Clinton. Oh no, he's got it, I think. Got him, but he's not big. Actually, he's pretty decent. Oh yeah, Clint, like a 20 something. At least a 20. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we're coming back here tomorrow. Sorry viewers for the repetitive nature, but it seems like if you figure out something in South Dakota, you should probably keep doing it. Because finding something ain't always the easiest. This high fish pro's getting retired. No more chubs, I don't think. I'm gonna double check though. Then I'm gonna go back to ripping, wrapping, and stuff. Alrighty, we're calling her quits. And uh, yeah, we're gonna come back tomorrow, even though we've uh, kinda already done that. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Wallace caught some, did some stuff, had to work for him, took a nap in the uh, tent, caught some pike, did some My Fish Pro stuff, did some lipless crankbait stuff, and got some more whale eyes to eat. Clouds went away, stars are out. Coyotes are howling, but it's time for us to go. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Check out Jordan's channel. Clint doesn't have a channel, but say hi to Clint in the comments. And yeah, see you later. Stuff done. So. Alrighty, boys and girls. Yeah, we, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Financing options available and is made in the good old U.S. as a... <laughs> Uh, what a loser. <laughs> That's what I would do. If I were saying it. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's just do a quick. Alrighty, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>